Hey, what's up, party people? This is a quick view slash demo of the new Clevo PA71 ESG. I got mine from HID Evolution. Highly recommend those guys. They did a great job, I think, on this. And all the specs for mine are going to be in the description below, so check those out. Sorry for the amateur quality of this video. I am not even an amateur. I'm just a dude with a laptop and a phone. So that's what I'm doing it on. HTC U11 hopefully going to help me out with the image stabilization and quote unquote high res audio. So let's jump right in there. Clevo Control Center 2.0, latest release, May 29th. Don't know why it's not reading my CPU clock right now. I can see all that info on hardware monitor, so some discrepancy with this. I'm sure it'll fix itself later. But important thing is it's reading temps and fan speeds just fine. And as you can see, it is running quiet and cool right now. What I'm going to do is go from automatic to 100% on maximum so you guys can hear the difference between those speeds because I know everybody is wondering about those fans and I'm gonna shut up now and show those to you with the addition of this my little sound meter app on the phone probably not the best thing to use not the most accurate but hey it's measuring my conversation in the normal range so better than nothing. We're going to use it. Take it with a grain of salt. Okay, you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so there it is. Yeah, the fans. Personally, I have no problem with them, but I'm not the best guy to ask because this is the first laptop I've had in quite a while and I have no basis for comparison all I have to say is they have yet to annoy me so it's totally subjective I think and uh, I maybe I'm just not that sensitive to them at any rate let's check out the rest of this stuff let's go over here to keyboard settings um, you can click and drag to select or you can just click individual keys so I'm gonna select all of these and just roll through the color settings so you guys can check that out. And there are four brightness settings. Let's check those out. Off. Okay. Let's keep it at four. Let's go around the circle here. White and black is off. Okay. And of course, you can pick all those hues in the middle very customizable but unfortunately there's no way to save them there's no configuration profiles there's no save button you just start from scratch every time very frustrating but even more frustrating this sleep timer does not remember any settings see my keyboard just went off yeah if I try and crank these settings up okay that's on max right if I leave this module, if you even go to a different module in the control center and go back, yep, back to default. And it does the same thing if you're on disable. The only way I've figured around this, the only workaround, is if you set it how you want it and then you just minimize control center. If you close it and send it to Trey, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to reset them. So, Clevo, if you're watching, please fix that because really, that is uh, it's going to make you the butt of many jokes in the dev community. Okay, QC. QC and QA, guys. All right. Keyboard effects. Kind of gimmicky. Kind of cool. Let's have a look. Three speeds. What are we on right now? Two. There's three. There's two. There's one. Okay, got brightness settings with those two. Let's keep it on two. I'm going to roll through these. Okay. There's wave. Breathe, scan, blink. Oh, I dig this one. Look at that. Random. That's a nice one, isn't it? Okay. Ah, uh, this one. Yes, ripple. If you want to make old people think you're from the Matrix or a wizard, use that. And good old snake. All right. We're going back to random. And we're getting out of here. All right. What else about this? The speakers. Yeah, out of the box, not going to lie, unimpressed. But with a little 
TLC from Equalizer APO over here, they really came alive. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a quick demo here. I'm gonna hit play, and of course I'm recording this through a phone, so don't get your hopes up, but hopefully you get some idea of the difference between these two. I'll show you the decibel meter at any rate. Let's do it. So leave the little be desired, yeah? Let's flick all the switches on my equalizer settings here. And I will make these config profiles available some way or another in the description so you guys can mess around with them and see if they work for you like they did for me. But that's with equalizer APO, Viper for Windows on. Okay, let's uh, take two here, see if you can hear the difference. <laughs> because I definitely could. Again, don't take the phone um, as an accurate measure of how different it sounds. With these two things working in conjunction, it really is night and day from stock. And I find them with these activated, it is totally listenable. If it's not, if it's not enough for you, you know what you do, get yourself a Bluetooth speaker. They're like 30 bucks on Amazon or whatever. And that is gonna be 100 times better than any laptop speakers will be anyways. So it's an easily remedied problem. Right? Nobody should be getting too upset about how loud laptop speakers are. Anyway, what else about this thing? Closing thoughts. Okay, It is built like a tank. All aluminum alloy. Love that. Zero keyboard flex. Okay, um, Don't try to sit on it, but you probably could. It is. It really is just solid all the way through. Touchpad. Nice touchpad. I use the external mouse, but the touchpad is fine. Um, the only problem with this construction is that it really does just live on fingerprints. Like you just breathe on it. You think about touching it and fingerprints are gonna appear. So if you're a neat freak, keep that chamois handy. Give her a little wipe down. Okay, yeah, good to go. But I think what I'm gonna do is just get a decal roll carbon fiber and just line this base with it because otherwise that's gonna drive me crazy. All right, what else, the screen. Screen is gorgeous, 144 hertz, IPS, 72% NTSC. Um, what more do you want out of a laptop? Maybe QHD or even 4K? Yeah, but come on, it's a laptop. It's a 17 inch screen. This resolution works fine for me. I'm gonna start a benchmark up so you can appreciate the colors. I really have no complaints about it. If there was one thing I was gonna do differently, it would be to spend the money on the minimum black backlight bleed from HID instead of the color calibration because I reinstalled the OS and the colors looked fine right out of the box. I don't think it needs the color calibration. Calibration, sorry it's late here. But I did have a little backlight bleed up in the left hand corner, but I'll get over it, you know. Bang for the buck, it's really hard to beat this machine. Uh, which is why I ended up going with it in the end. It's it's hard to get more for your money than with this thing. And with that two or three year warranty, extended warranty on there, it more than makes up for its shortcomings in drivers and you know the firmware or uh, software includes software experience to control all of that that stuff. Man, it is it is really just an impressive machine. And with that liquid metal paste. Um, on that PA70 chassis, the cooling does fine, in my opinion. See, it's heating up a little bit right now. And those fans are actually at 80% right now. Still quiet enough for me, guys. Hope it's quiet enough for you. Hope you enjoyed the review. And hope you help it makes, hope it helps you make a decision one way or another. Okay, I'm going to bed. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the interwebs. Peace out.